I think it will be remembered. I, I think it'll be seen as part of a cycle, you know? I think it'll seem like it did in a way in the, in the early 50s of anxiety and repression and, um, and fear. And then I have a sense maybe it'll open up into a new sort of 60s. Those things seem to go in waves like that. So uh, I have that hope. But for sure it'll be seen as I think of oddly dark time in American history. I really do. Um, when we were at the, when for one moment America ruled the world and then it was the tipping point where we lost it forever. Maybe, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we shouldn't have ruled the world. I was in a weird place. I was at McDowell Colony in New Hampshire. So I was in a a strange world apart um, where you sort of childlike place and where it was full of New Yorkers who were all trying to call home and uh, my brother lived in New York at the time and so we were all cell phones didn't work there were two pay phones and we had a lot of foreign artists there as well so it was very confusing because we were in rural New Hampshire, people were flying giant American flags on their trucks. And at the same time, the foreign artists were saying to us, America has brought this on itself. So, and we told them, I don't want to have this conversation right now. I will have this conversation with you in six months. But I, I can't, I know what you're talking about, but I can't talk with you about it. And they'd say, America needs to talk about it. And we, it was a tough talk to have. And on the other hand, we were in a place of, of true, the town we had become a, that true kind of patriotic America that that we all saw that I also was not comfortable with and I thought here it comes people are going to start beating up the Arabs I know it and at the same time I'm starting to feel you know bound to my country and um, and of course we squandered that feeling entirely and we did kind of beat up the Arabs and then we invaded I mean I just couldn't believe what happened after that it could have gone so many ways. I guess I didn't mention how I felt. <laughs> it's still hard to get at. But it was, it was otherworldly to watch that on the TV, being drawn out of the narcissism of writing your novel, writing Max Tivoli, and having someone knock on your door. And at that colony, you're not allowed to knock on anyone's door ever. It was the first time it had ever happened. And said, you have to come and watch it. And so I saw the second tower call, fall. And suddenly, no one wanted to write their work. You know, all of our, not my novel felt like the stupidest thing in the world. I had a novel coming out. Two days later, I was supposed to start book tour. No one cared about that. But it was hard for me to get people to, to care myself, you know. It seemed like there was other stuff at stake, and novels didn't seem like where it was at. Now I believe the opposite. Now I think, like, fiction has a place to understand those things that are hardest to understand that nonfiction can't ever get at.